Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to format text in Adobe InDesign. Uh, first thing you want to do is to switch to typography workspace. At this point uh, we have these panels uh, which are under Essentials workspace. Uh, we have pages, layers, etc. but we only have like six, seven panels. Uh, what, what you want to do is to go to here and select typography instead. So when you do that, it, um, InDesign brings a lot of uh, new panels here which um, help you to do text formatting. For instance, we have paragraph, paragraph styles, character, character styles. We have uh, quite a few more here, um, uh, glyphs and text wrap, etc. Um, let's go over a couple of these and um, see how uh, they help us to format text. Um, I'm going to click on character and drag this out so we can talk about this a bit more. Um, first and foremost, uh, right here the first item um, allows you to format text by using the font. So these are all the fonts that I have installed on my computer. All you need to do is to uh, select the font I'm going to pick up the text tool and highlight it and then go here and choose any font that I want. You can also search here by typing the font name. I just I'm looking for the font Georgia and I found it here. I'm going to click here and there you have it. Um, also we have the options of uh, converting this to italic, bold or bold italic. Um, so you can experiment with all this. Uh, you don't have to highlight the text. You can actually um, just click on the text box and make these modifications as well. Uh, then here um, we have font size. So obviously you can change the font size as well. Then here on this item we have leading. Leading is the space between lines. Um, at this point I have 14.4, I'm just going to switch to 30 or 24 so you see there more, there's more gap between the lines now. I'm going to switch back. Um, it's a great idea to keep this on auto so when you change the font size um, automatically leading will be uh, selected accordingly. Um, here uh, we have kerning. Kerning is the space between two letters. If you want to work with kerning, you have to put the cursor between two letters. Uh, so I'm just going to go here between L and O and I'm going to go for 200. So you see now we have a large gap between these two letters. Um, I'm going to remove it. Alright, then here we have Tracking. Tracking is the space between all the letters. So if I go back here and click back and click back on, and now I'm going to go for 200. You see all the letters are spaced um, equally. So I'm going to bring that, this back to zero. Um, then here in the bottom we have vertical scale and horizontal scale. This is not a really good idea to stretch the um, text at all, but I'm going to show you how uh, it works. So instead of 100, I'm going to go 200, and you see it stretches the text. It's not legible. It's not a great idea at all. I'm just going to undo it, but um, who knows? Maybe one day you need uh, to use either of these. Also here in the bottom, um, we have skew, which actually will slant the text. At this point, I can... For instance, I'm going to go 45 degrees, and you see this is what happens. Again, not a great um, uh, format, but this is how it works. We also, here in the bottom, have baseline shift. So, for instance, if I have the words TM, which stands for trademark, you can just highlight that one and just shift it up, and then bring the font size down, and that's what it does. 
All right. Um, and of course, in the bottom, you can select the language for this document. I'm going to bring this back, and we're going to switch to paragraph panel. Um, right on the top, we have alignment. All these items on the top. Um, at this point, my text is aligned to the left. Um, I'm, I can click here to align it to the right or to the center. So I'm going to select the font, uh, select the uh, text box, and then click here. There you go. That's aligned to the left or to the right, and align center, and go back to the left. And this is left indentation. Um, you can create indentation here for your text box. I'm going to remove it, put zero. And also we have right indentation. Then here we have the first line left indentation. So it it creates a left indentation for the first line only, which is uh, very popular for magazines and newspapers. And uh, we have the same thing here. We have the last line right indentation. Then here we have space before and space after. So again, let's take a look at this. Um, I'm going to highlight this one. Actually, I have to have a second paragraph to be able to show you this. So when you increase this um, uh, a space before, it will add more space before the paragraph. Uh, last but not least is um, drop cap. So we have these two items. We have drop cap numbers, a number of lines, and also we have drop cap one or more characters. Um, I'm going to put the cursor here to the beginning of this paragraph, and I'm going to click here three. So it creates drop cap for three lines. And if you want to add more letters to it, for instance, if I want the whole, whole uh, the whole word lorem to be uh, drop capped, I can add it here. So instead of one, I can just go for five. And of course, we have shading for the text here and also borders. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.